At this year's SHOT Show, I gave you a preview of Forster's new neck tension gauge kit. In this video, we're gonna show you the shipping final product. Gavin Gear here from UltimateLoader.com. This year at the SHOT Show, Travis and I saw a new product, the Forster neck tension gauge kit. And we thought to ourselves, we actually said to ourselves, that looks handy and I think we're gonna use that all the time. So what I wanted to do in this video was show you the final kit. As you might recall, there was some pre-production handles on the ones we showed you at the SHOT Show. These are the appropriate Forster Red and they even say Forster on them. We've got printed materials. Basically, each of these gauge handles is a, a set of different diameter, what acts like bullets essentially. There's small cylindrical sections that are precision ground to a specific diameter. So we can use this kind of like go, no go gauges, but to gauge what the inside diameter is of the neck for our brass. Now this is an important measurement because this is a part of the equation for neck tension. What I've got here is some Lapua 6.5 Creedmoor brass. Lapua necks tend to run a little bit tighter. So if we take the appropriate, this is the 264. By the way, we've also got 22 cal, six millimeter, Here's our 6.5, we've got 7 mil, and then we've got 30 cal. So this one set pretty much covers most of the popular cartridges that you're gonna deal with. And on this specific gauge stick here, we've got 260, 261, 262, and 263. So if we slip the neck over this, I get a little bit of uh, resistance initially because I think this neck was not perfectly, perfectly round. But it'll go over the 260, there we go. It'll go over the 261, but it stops before 262. I've got the Forster Coax set up here. I've got a Wilson expanding mandrel die. So this is what we typically do here at Ultimate Reloader with our Lapo brass, first time we're loading it, is we're gonna put it in the press. We're gonna run that expanding mandrel through the neck. Now let's come back to our gauge and see where we're at this time. Now it goes over the 262, stops just short of the 263. So we know this inside diameter of the neck is between 262 and 263. And based on our preference for what we want for bullet neck tension, I think that's gonna be just perfect actually, about one thou of interference fit. So you can use this to examine brass that you've got. You can use this as a part of your reloading process to make sure that you've got the appropriate neck tension. It's a very handy gauge. It's gonna be more consistent and it's gonna give you a better result compared to trying to use something like digital calipers on the inside. You can get a rough number that way, but this gives you the feel and it basically emulates what the bullet does when it goes into the case neck a cylindrical section, which is that bearing surface on the bullet. So if you wanna know more information about this product, click on that first link in the video description. We will have a link to the appropriate product pages. And uh, you know, I might just read the instructions as well. Not that they're really needed for this product because it's so straightforward. What do you guys think of this? Have any of you gotten yours yet? Drop a comment and share your experiences. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, make your voice heard. If you have something to say, please drop a comment. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications because you're not gonna wanna miss the awesome content that is coming up. And finally, flex your reloading pride. You could look great in one of these t-shirts. We've got multiple designs at the Ultimate Reloader store. I'll see you later because I'm off to go shooting.